Thor getting his uh, shotgun. Finders keepers. <laughs> Stay here and wait for me. What? Why? I'm going after him. Oh, time for a cigarette. One step closer to the grave. How do you shoot again? Left trigger, right trigger, shoot. Okay. We got two bullets. Or shells. Hush! How do I reload? Oh, press X to reload. No! Oh, we're good. No! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> she turns her back to him and then... If you aim, you can't... Uh, you can't switch sides. We got two more... Uh, oh, we got... Okay, we got six shells. We can only have two in the, in the rifle. There's one coming behind, but... Oh! Not going back. We're not going back. Make sure it's locked and loaded. Keeping those shells. Trying to get away, huh? What? Get the hell out of my way, you stupid! <laughs> and as the wolf opened his jaws to swallow the lamb, he found there was already an even bigger wolf hidden inside the lamb. The tables turn quickly if you're not careful. And when you live a wolf's life, you've got to know there is a price for each drop of blood that you spill. Sooner or later, you'll have to pay it. Thank you, Angeline. This is the man I wanted. Your first task is completed. It's time to end it. Unless... Well... You have his gun. And a first-hand experience of being his victim. Perhaps this kill belongs to you. I'll let you choose. I've done enough. He's all yours now. Very well then. Feeding time. <laughs> num num is ready. These woods are dark. Here we are. 
You can stay on the farm until you get your strength back. Don't think the owner will mind. You won't even know I'm here. I need a quiet place to rest for a bit. I'm so tired. I know. You'll sleep soon. But take a bath first. Use the guest bathroom, just past the staircase, and in the meantime, I'll find something for you to wear and I'll bring it over. Oh, and uh, can you please make me a nice big cup can of coffee? Can you stay like this? <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Uh, five sugars, please. Five? Okay. Just go and wash that blood off you already. One last thing, Angie. Yeah? What the hell is this dreadful thing on the table? Looks like a frozen carcass. Exactly. And it... Ugh, smells. How can it smell? It's frozen. It smells like a sheep's ass to me. It's probably just Midge. Midge? The sheep that was hanging around the kitchen yesterday. Right. Clearly I have a lot to learn about life on a farm. You'll get used to it quickly. Now go. Run yourself a nice hot bath and leave all those horrible memories behind, yeah? Thanks, Angie. Can we put this back in the fridge? That's the biggest lump of frozen meat I've ever seen. I can only assume it's the dinner Siarans offered to make yesterday. Examine. It's a clean, empty cup. Make a cup of coffee. Okay. Um, 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 um. Okay, add coffee and five sugars. Add water. Oh, we need to boil water. Okay, turn on. There's nothing. Yeah, oh, but I can't even put what you put water in it and then oh you use this one here. Okay, we fill this one with water. And then we boil it. It's whistling. Mmm, delish. Do I have it on me? Oh, it's here. We're just leaving it here. How, why doesn't she put the lump back in the fridge? Oh well. Be what did the be. There. Would you come closer, please? No. <laughs> just kidding. I could be losing my mind, but did I just see a naked lady run past here a minute ago? That's Jenny. Don't worry about her. She needed a place to stay for a few days, and I've offered to help. Is that all right with you? Oh, that's fine with me. Just ask her to put some clothes on. You know, in case that vicar comes round again. Um, the vicar. <laughs> Speaking of clothes, do we have anything we could give her? Well, I, uh, I don't know much about ladies' garments, dear. It's all right. I can give her some of mine. Wait, I, uh, I still have some clothes that belong to my wife. It's a skirt and a blouse, I believe. I kept them because they were her favourite. They're in a suitcase upstairs. You're sure you don't mind letting a stranger wear it? Penny, uh, 
always had a heart of gold. She wouldn't think twice about lending her clothes to a stranger in need. Well, I'm sure of that. In that case, okay, I'll go look for it. Oh, uh, before you go, dear. Yes, Shrug. Uh, any chance of another sandwich? Well, I waited and waited yesterday, but that roast lamb never came. Huh, I wonder why. But sure, I'll make you a sandwich in a minute. I was busy getting tortured in the sex dungeon. <laughs> And then we we made a trick and sent him to hell. <laughs> and he's not coming back. The priest, you know, is a, <laughs> is a little bit uh, ripped apart. So where do we... Oh, the fridge. It's Thursday. Is it the next day? I can't tell. Prepare a meal. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, bread. Tuna. Sweet corn. And the mayonnaise. No, this is a strange sandwich. Listen, that's a strange sandwich. No discussion, the end. Okay, so there's more than just one sandwich, huh? Would you look at that? With your good old googly, googly moogly eyes. <laughs> Alright, I got another sandwich for you, sir. Num, num, num. And, did you like it? Wow, he's not even commenting it. What a disappointment, sir. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, we need to feed the horse. But first, <clears throat> let's check this side. Just a quick looky look. So who do you think killed the rat? The preacher? The nutter. I wonder where uh, Kieran went. Maybe he just went up, up and away. Oh, there he is. The little rascal. Here's Kieran. He didn't just forget to make dinner. He got drunk on George's sherry too. I need to have a word with him when he wakes up. And he ate my kebab as well. Let's feed the horse. Ah, uh, horse is a horse is a horse. Of course. Shoot. Oh. It's locked. We can't feed the horse. Oh well. Through no, no fault of mine. Oh, this goes into the basement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Nice. Thank you. I won't be long. Oh, she's taking a shower. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Um. Oh, let's safe. Let's go safe. Ah. Cat is back. Maybe that's the cat from a burn house lane. Have you ever found something pretty? Nope. Can't interact with the cat. There's lots of ladies' clothes inside, but they're all XXL size. That's way too large for Jenny. Hmm. <clears throat> I 
should be able to find a dress inside. So these clothes belong to George's wife, Penny. Not bad. I'll take them. They just look about her size. Wait, what's the stuff underneath? The stuff underneath. We go to computer. Computer room. All right, <clears throat> I guess we're bringing her the clothes. Hey, Jenny. I found some clothes that should fit you. I'll leave them here on the floor, just outside the bathroom. Thanks, I'll be out in a minute. Good. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Cigarette. <laughs> back here well aren't you a cutie living on Vern House Lane of all places this doesn't seem like the right home for a beautiful cat like you let's come with me Gain control of a cat. Passive ability. Oh wait, we used up all our uh, our powers. I thought oh, we need to go sleep maybe, and then it says you can use them once a day. Where can we use the cat powers? It's passive, right? Wait, what? It's different now. Oh, this is the forest. The dark forest. And we're in the next bad place. Oh, Yarli! Meet little Sheila. She's been stuck in this hole for a while. Who's done this to her? A psychopath called Walter Green. Who lives in the woods, not far from the farm. Walter likes to trap people, hunt them down like animals. Sometimes just to slowly watch them die, but mostly to skin them alive as a sacrifice to the devil. What do you want me to do? Find Sheila and get her out of there. But do it soon. The sun sets down fast this time of year. You only have till midnight. And at night, these woods are dark. Oh, there we go, sleeping. Do we get our powers back? Yes. Hooray, 
Alrighty then, let's go for another cigarette. <laughs> ah. Tastes like cancer. Um, did we give her... No, we put the clothes down for her, right? I wonder what's in that room. Let's check out where everyone is. So we gotta save the little girl from Walter Green. The little prankster. <laughs> he pranks people with his traps and then hunts and kills them. But it's just a joke, so that's fine. It was just a joke. I'm going for the achievement, the peed every day. <laughs> What do you mean? I wasn't sleeping. Liar. Oh. Do you want a cupcake? <laughs> do I look like the kind of guy who'd say no to a <laughs> cupcake? In that case, here, it's all yours. Cheers, nurse. I will remember this. Okay. Um. Did you see a young woman? Blonde? Late twenties? You mean Jenny? Yes. She's lovely, isn't she? Where is she? The last I saw her, she was talking to George. Right. Thanks. Let's be really rude to him. Is there a forest near the farm? Why are you asking? Well, I just feel like taking a walk in the woods. I want to get some fresh air. You know? Oh, you don't want to go to that forest. I mean... This is the good old countryside. There's fresh air everywhere. Maybe I like to look at the trees, yeah? Just tell me, how do I get there? Well, if you really must. There's a path leading to it in the east yard, near my caravan. I'll be there all day. Come over, and I'll show you. But you shouldn't go there alone. Why not? I hear stories about things happening in these woods. Bad things. Horrible things. Thanks for your concern, but I can take care of myself. All right. Why do we have to be rude to him? Don't do anything stupid. I'm just leaving See here. See you later. And don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Me? Never. She's here like one day and she's already telling him what to do and stuff. Um, yeah. Let's see. Oh. 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 I see you've met Jenny. Uh... This lovely young lass wandered in. I offered my chair to her, and she must have been very exhausted, because she just fell asleep before I could even offer her a cup of tea. Do you want me to...? No, no, leave her. That's fine. As a matter of fact, I'll go find her a blanket. That's a bit chilly today. I mean, if he can leap off the ceiling, he can walk a little bit. You don't have to take off everything off of him.
She drank a coffee and fell asleep. That sounds like me. <laughs> me and my evening coffee. It's still the 5th of September. Um, okay, let's see if we can feed the horse, right? Head out to the woods. The path to the woods is near Kieran's caravan. The caravan! <clears throat> uh, uh, um. uh, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go past the horse if it's unless the door is still locked. I don't know why this door's now it's open again. We'll just keep it open. I need to go through the house. Not that it makes any sense in the first place. There you go, buddy. I got the carrot. <laughs> nice. Relationship level two. Richard the horse. This doesn't do anything, right? It's like resting mode or something. Nurse! Can I interest you in a little game I've invented? There's prizes to be won. What would I have to do? You, uh, ever held a gun? Yes. Well then, I throw some empty bottles up in the air. And you try to hit them before they fall. Easy. What do you say? What are the rules? I'll throw five bottles in the air, one at a time. Your job is to shoot them down. You'll win a nice prize if you manage to hit at least three out of five. Okay. But there's a special prize if you beat my personal record Ooh. and hit all five bottles. You want to try? Sure. Sure. Let's try it. See how that goes. Nice! I'm shooting. Good shot! Go on, you got it! Nice! Oh -ho! I got it! I still got it! Five bottles! You're amazing! Here's your special ultra rare first prize, as promised. A large caliber Desert Eagle bullet. Just one? Oh, they're quite expensive. <laughs> but let's be honest. With this sort of weapon, all you need is one shot. Really? But I don't even have a Desert Eagle. Well, I'd lend you mine, but uh, well, you know how it is. I grow attached to these things. It's all right. I don't want it anyway. Do you want to try again? No, thanks. Here, take your gun back. I'm off to the woods. Will I get there if I keep going this way? Well, yes, but uh, you don't really want to go there, nurse. You should leave that for me to decide. Listen, I need to save a little kid. And that's what I shall do. We're just gonna leave her in the hole, dying, waiting for the psycho. I don't have a weapon anymore, huh? I have a bullet, but no weapon. Hilarious. Wait, maybe I can take a gun? Can I, can I get a gun? He has so many guns. He can, surely he can borrow one. I mean, I can borrow one.
You ready? No, sir. Oh, I can't even go. Oh, man. There we go again. Again and again. Walter Green. A little rascal. <laughs> oh. Hey, Mitch. It's good to see you made it. Party bus. Happiness. What happiness only real when shared. Right. Are you really happy? It's fake. You got to shut it. It's a sa Satanist territory. Yeah, maybe someone's flipped the sign by accident. Sure, because 999 is like a holy number. I think the holy number would be seven, right? Nine. The graphic, the background looks photorealistic. I think maybe they took picture of some actual pictures of some actual moss here. going down. Hey, what did she say? Don't know. Hope she didn't say I'm gonna die if I jump. Oh! No, we're good. Hell... Hell's empty, all the devils are here. Now let's go to the Satanist door. Hi there. Um, hi? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Arno. I'm Angie. <laughs> what is this shack? The Satanist Club? Not quite. It used to be a lumberjack's cabin back in the day. But it's been abandoned since 2013. You see, that's when all those grisly murders started to happen in the area. Jeffrey Brand, the lumberjack, was one of the first they found. Where? Here? Here indeed. If you look closely, you can still see his blood on the windowsill. Right. Lovely. And what about all those nice. satanic drawings? Ah, yes. It's widely believed that Walter Green worships the devil. He makes them all over the forest, as well as little shrines to Satan. Built with bones and feathers. Nice. They usually mark spots where he killed people. So, who are you, Arno? Is it okay to ask? Oh, I'm a journalist from Finland. Finland? That's nice. Why come to England? Well, I've been planning this trip for a long time. These woods have been calling me all this time, reaching out to me like a distant melody. And yesterday morning, when I arrived, I could feel it. I knew that this is 
My destiny. What is? To getting murdered here? To become the man who captures Walter Green and proves the legends were all true. That's very bold. Aren't you afraid that he'll stick you up on a tree and pull your skin off? Or... I don't really know what he does. Eat your eyeballs? Chop your head off? Eat my eyeballs? He's a serial killer, not an animal. He... he just mostly grabs and stabs people multiple times. Oh, so, so that's okay. if you ever get near him, watch out for the grab. Grab and stab. <laughs> that would be my advice for you. Right. Good to know. You seem to know a lot about Walter Green. Of course I do. I don't need to brag. I'm the world's biggest expert on what they call the Walter Green Mythos. I've read every single article ever written on it, including the unpublished blogs and letters. I've lived and breathed these stories for almost six years, and I feel confident to say I know his greatest secret. Oh, I need to know. Something nobody else knows. What is it? Oh, I'm not telling it. It's a secret. But if you want to know more, there's a Walter Green's fan page that I've run for the last three oh, no. years. It's a lovely community. You should totally join it. Tell you what, if I'm still alive by tomorrow, I totally will. I can't ask him to tell us the secret, huh? What are you doing here? Alone? In the woods? I'm tracking the legendary Walter Green, of course. And these woods are his hunting grounds. So I've heard. But... Why do you track him? It doesn't seem like a very wise thing to do. Only if you aren't familiar with his patterns. But since I've studied Walter and his mythos for a long time, I know exactly what I'm doing. And I will not let him kill me. Uh-huh. I'm looking for a small chapel with a creepy doll pinned to it. Please. I really need to find it. Any chance you saw it? Yes, I think I did. Where was it? I'd have to draw you a map, I think. Because you know... The picture is worth a thousand words. That would be great. Thanks. I'll wait. Actually, I was just about to start a fire for the night. It's still early. In these woods, you see, without light comes death. Don't forget, there's a dangerous serial killer lurking nearby. He could be watching us right now. So... While I draw the map, would you mind lighting a fire in the fireplace over there? I would appreciate that very much. Uh, sure. Tell me more about Walter Tell Green first. Tell me more first. about Walter Green. What would you like to know? How can I tell if Walter is close by? Well... If you can't see him, because it's either too dark or he's hiding in the trees, you can always hear him. Julie Mars, who witnessed Walter during cold winter of 2017, described the sound he produced as rapid breathing of a scared animal. So keep your ears open. Or go home, while you still can. Well, if Julie Marsh made it... Who says she did? They found her notes written in a little diary, stuffed inside her hollowed-out chest. Her guts scattered around in a ten-meter radius inside a large pentagram. Two large pine cones instead of eyes in her eye sockets. Thanks. I get the picture. What's his weapon? Good question. 
According to autopsy reports, most wounds found on Walter's victims were puncture wounds inflicted by a large single-edged blade. A carbon steel 12 inches combat knife, similar to that used by American Marines. You see it? You turn back and you run. Don't even think about beating Walter in close combat. He'll just grab you, stab you right in the heart and bleed you dry. And then he'll probably cut you open, pull out your intestines and offer your soul to Satan. So... Yeah, stay away. Go home and make a cup of lemon tea. Best strategy for someone like you. No offense. It's also a great cold remedy, especially this time of year. What does he look like? You mean, you don't know? I'm, I'm not from around here. Oh well, in that case, imagine a giant bear standing on two legs. His body is so muscular, it's easy to imagine him lifting a fallen oak all on his own and throwing it in the air like it's no more than a twig. He wears a soldier's attire with leather straps and belts that hold animal bones and talismans attached to them. On his head, an old canvas bag with two holes for eyes. And that's why I'm here. To be the first to remote that bag and see the face that was hidden for all these years. The face of a killer. <laughs> you mentioned a secret. Oh, I shouldn't have brought it up. Come on, you can tell me. That's the thing, I can't. It's my secret weapon. The ace up my sleeve. So forgive me, but no. This one stays with me. I feel this is too important to just let it go by. Tell me his fucking secret now. I... Um, shit. It's... Well... Walter... Green... Is... A woman. What? A woman. And if you call him, her, by his real name, a woman's name, he, she, will let you leave. And what is that name? I don't know. Yet. But I will find it. Hmm. Well, Whoa! Did you feel that? That was good to know. Feel what? This cold draft. I think a ghost came through here. Jeffrey? Is that <laughs> you? <laughs> Relax. It was just the wind. That's all I wanted to know. Alright. I'll get a fire going for you. Wonderful. Now, see this axe stuck in the wall there. You will need that. The why, axe? Why did you stick it in the well, wall? Don't mind if I do. Okay, so that's where we're lighting the fire, and this is where we're smoking a cigarette. <laughs> Alright, so Walter Green is a woman, and we need to find out her name, and then she will just let us go. Oh, there we go, chopping block. Should I jump in if I break my spine? At least I won't have to worry about the fucking cancer anymore. 
But then who was gonna fight the girl in the hole? What was her name? Sheila, right? Jump in, no. No, no, we're not jumping in. I need a freaking chainsaw to make firewood out of these, so we gotta find like little... little stick here. I mean, it's not a stick. It's like a log. A log part. I have two uh, map coming along? locks. Good, good. It should be ready really soon. It's probably not enough. One in, two more to go. But you'll need like something to get the fire going. You don't just pick up uh, three logs and then you get magically a fire going on. That water. Chuck. Just one more. I don't think I have to go through the water. That doesn't make lots of sense. Jumping in the well doesn't make much sense. I mean, what do I know in this game, right? I can't find the third log. Let me jump into a well. So that's, a, that's, that's not a normal course of action. It didn't fly in our direction. I promised R not to do something. Right, but what's, where's the last, uh, the last log? I jump into the well, guys. I just have to do it. I'm too stupid to find the log. The jump. Maybe we can chop him like this a little bit. Are these two? Look, she jumped down. This is extremely high up. I don't think you can just jump down there. Even if you hang down, it's like... I would say maybe around five meters from the hanging position. I just, I, the only option I have is jump down the well, huh? Save the game first before we do anything stupid. Is it okay if I keep the axe? Yeah, keep it. I have a spare one in my backpack. Thanks. I can use it for self-defense if I bump into Walter. Oh, it wouldn't work. Don't yeah. even try. How do you know? Stephen Bramble, 2018. He tried <laughs> the axe. And Stephen was a burly kind of guy. No offense, but way stronger than you. Let me guess. He died? Yes. Shocking. 
I'll see you later. Sure. Unless you see... Uh -huh. Then, let's face it. You probably... Okay, nice one. And if he comes into this house and kills you, then I won't be seeing you. I mean, I will be seeing you technically. You will just be a little bit dead. <laughs> Time for a cigarette. 